Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look at the holster that I used to carry inside the waistband the Springfield Hellcat. I got several private messages asking me about the holster, so taking advantage of it apparently being holster month, a lot of the gun channels running holster videos, I thought I'd share with you the Phalanx Concealment Holster that I have for the Hellcat. Please forgive my voice, but I am battling a cold, so I'll get through this hopefully quickly and as best as I can. In the spirit of full disclosure, I wanted to let you know that Phalanx Concealment did send this holster into the channel for the original review of the Hellcat, which I posted last week. And it was sent here because I requested it. I've been a client of Phalanx Concealment for quite some time now. And actually, if you look at some of my original videos, one of the first videos that I did of the SIG P365, I show a Phalanx Concealment holster. I've been a paying client of theirs for a long time until I requested this holster for the Hellcat and they graciously send it to me. So in order of full disclosure, there you go. Phalanx Concealment is a veteran owned company. So I want you to keep that in mind and I want to thank him for, for his service send us uh, this holster. It is their inside the waistband multicolor XLP Dagger 2.0. It's a mouthful, but it's easier when you read it from their website. And yes, the Springfield Hellcat is in the holster and it has been safety ch checked and there are no bullets anywhere nearby. So please don't think you're gonna get shot through the camera. So, it comes with a sturdy, very sturdy clip, and I'll walk you around the holster so you can see how it fits on the, on the Hellcat. It's a very sturdy clip. It holds the holster right where it's supposed to be, and it doesn't move unless you move it around. You can get it with or without the logo attached um, on, on the clip, and give you a bit of a look at the hardware here. This particular holster came in the carbon fiber finish. is very smooth. Um, it, it feels just wonderful, actually, with a blood red interior. And I'll post a picture right now. Of the, uh, they have several different colors and custom insides and outsides that you can do. If you go to the website, you can see that better. The backside of the hardware, and you can see how it fits the edges beautifully around the Hellcat. It doesn't touch where it's not supposed to touch. And there it is. You can see, let me see if I can play with the, with the focus a little bit better. You can see the clearance that you have. You can see the front side weight down there. You can see the fit right here. So very nice. So now let me take it out of the holster. You can hear the retention. Let's do that right now. Very positive retention. I mean, this thing is not going anywhere. So let's put the Hellcat down and let, let you take a close up view of the holster. Like I said, blood red orange on the inside. I really like that. My last one was also with a carbon fiber. I like their carbon fiber look, but it had a chocolate inside. So it was a beautiful combination. And, um, but I'm, I'm really liking this. If you look at the edges, everything has been perfectly smoothed out. There are no sharp edges anywhere. It's not a flimsy, thin holster. Look it around. So I just wanted to let you really take a good look at it. There you go, focus is working a little bit better there. So there it is, the Phalanx Concealment Holster. They make it for many guns, not just the Hellcat. If you're a SIG P365 fan, they have them for you. You can go to their website and take a look at what kind of holsters they make for different guns. But again, letting you take a look at it. So this is in response to all the private messages that I got asking about the holster for the Hellcat. So thank you for Phalanx, to Phalanx Concealment for sending this holster in. 
and thank you guys for watching and we just crossed the 1000 subscriber mark which is a, a big milestone for YouTube so I'm humbled and I wanted to say thank you to all of you that subscribe to the channel and I hope we can get it to 2000 subscribers and then continue to grow. YouTube does tell me that about 98% of the viewers are have not su subscribed and it is something that does help us a lot with the matrix so if you feel so inclined please hit, hit that subscribe button on your way out and the like button as well. Until the next video, God bless and thank you.